Terminator 87 here today, shooting again, and I am bringing you another video on the 410. I did a Smith & Wesson Governor video earlier in the year. It was and I did a video on the Circuit Judge in December. The 410 bore is the smallest um, gauge of shotgun commonly available. It originated in England in the mid 1800s. The first ammo was only two inches in height compared to the two and a half inch and three inch shells we got now. It has similar base dimensions to the 45 Colt round, which makes it compatible with a lot of revolvers they have now and um, some shotguns. Four ten bore shotguns throw the least weight and shot, but are easy to handle, often chosen for younger shooters, and commonly used for small game animals such as squirrels or rabbits. The 410 is now being manufactured in many firearm setups for defensive use, such as the Smith & Wesson Governor. But the shot shells are inferior to a 12 gauge shot shell for defense. The compact size of the firearms that are chambered in 410 tend to make it a popular choice for survival or emergency use. In the case of the 45 Colt case dimensions being similar to the base of a 410 shells, many companies offer 410 handguns such as Derringers and a few revolvers like the, the Smith & Wesson Governor and the Taurus Judge. Now this is where the basis of the video comes in. We have a 410 long gun here, a five shot Rossi Circuit Judge. It features an 18 and a half inch barrel and weighs in at 5.3 pounds. And is basically a Taurus Judge with a longer barrel and a stock. It will fire three inch shells, two and a half inch shells, and 45 Colt. This is more likely to be used for hunting. We also have a 410 revolver out here. The Smith & Wesson Governor built on a Z frame. This holds six rounds and just has a two and three quarter inch barrel and it weighs 29.6 ounces or 1.85 pounds. This gun will fire only the two and a half inch shells but will also fire the 45 Colt like the Circuit Judge. But in addition to that, it will also do the 45 ACP with moon clips. For most people, the 410 handguns are for defensive use, but mine is more or less for fun. Now that I've introduced you to the two firearms, this video is going to be intended as a comparison between a long gun and a revolver that fire the same shells. For that reason, I will only be using the 2.5 inch shells since they both can fire them. I may just show you a 3 inch shell firing though just because. I will also demo the 45 Colt later on out of both. Possibly a couple 45 ACPs for fun in the Smith & Wesson. Like a lot of my other videos, this isn't going to be scientific. I'm just a regular guy out here. But visually you're going to see what you might expect out of the 410 long gun and revolver when compared side to side with the same shells. Well, let's get on with this test now, shall we? I will pattern some game loads and some different buckshot loads at probably seven yards to let you see how they spread in the two different length barrels. Then maybe take it to 25 yards, I guess, at most. Obviously the long gun will pattern tighter, but how much? I'm also going to show you a few water jug explosions, mostly to see if you get any more splash between the two guns. It's all for fun here. I'll probably end up plinking and you'll just have to watch it, I guess. For the 45 Colt, it's really hard to get an accuracy comparison since most people shoot a long gun better than a handgun. Maybe we can compare how good a hollow point or flex tip performs on jugs out of the larger barrel versus the shorter, but at the very least, you're still going to get a firing comparison between these two guns. 
The first test out of the circuit judge and the governor is going to be with the... Ow, something just stung me. The first test is going to be with the 410 um, Remington Ultimate Home Defense Triple Lot Buckshot. Four pellets. 1225 feet per second. Pretty warm load. We're going to do it at seven yards. Circuit judge, seven yards. Remington Ultimate Home Defense Triple Lot Buckshot. Firing. Go look at the pattern. The four pellets spread out quite a bit at seven yards. Could have been me, I don't know. Most of them are down here and there's one over here. That is, I'd say seven inches in a straight line. This is a cylinder bore shotgun right now. I don't have any chokes in it. Remington, Ultimate Home Defense. Smith and Wesson Governor, two and three quarter inch barrel, seven yards. Same setup. Let's go see what we got. These might be tailored to a shorter barrel, really. That is a heck of a lot tighter than the circuit judge. I'm sure the it's kind of surprising results really. Completely different than what I thought. There's a wad. Huh. Surprised. Maybe the Remington is for a handgun, I don't know. I know these Federal are for a handgun, tailored for the short barrel, so. I'm going to see if the circuit judge does good with them or the governor does better with them. I honestly don't know what to expect anymore. Circuit judge with Federal's 410 handgun load triple lot buckshot. That's not a bad grouping. It's a lot more... It's a lot tighter with the circuit judge with the 410 handgun load than it was with the Remington. That's like three inches or something. I should have brought a measuring tape. Now the federal handgun load and an actual handgun. I'll be real surprised if this doesn't do the same or better than the circuit judge with that advertisement. I think I pulled to the left a little. Let's go look. Yeah, I definitely pulled to the left. Well, the grouping is comparable. The water's stuck in there. Let's put it through. I think, in general, though, the grouping is a little bit tighter with the governor in that case, too. Two and a half inch number six shot with a half ounce of shot in it. Let's see how it performs out of the long gun without a choke in it. I've never truly realized how much a 410 spreads, because that is ridiculous. That peppered the entire thing, beyond the cardboard even. And that's a 7 yards, I'm not even going to bother testing at 25, I don't think. Just because of that. That is crazy. I don't know how I'll be able to measure that with the handgun, it's probably just going to be all over it too. The game load out of the 2 and 3 quarter inch barreled Governor. 
Not expecting this to be much better. Hopefully I don't hit my GoPro. Again, as expected, just a huge peppering of the target. I was aiming here. Maybe the holes look a little bit bigger from slower velocity and more, oh, tearing the paper more. Could be just me thinking about it too much. I decided I figured out what I'm gonna do with the 45 Colt round. Uh, I'm just gonna shoot the two targets side by side. I'll do the circuit judge on the left and the governor on the right side and more or less to show you how they shoot in both guns. I guess that'll be all right. The circuit judge does have a slightly longer cylinder. I don't know if it'll play into it that much at seven yards. That's not very far. I haven't shot this gun enough to know exactly where the sights are with 45 Colt. I think I am up a little over it right now. And I'm gonna shoot them double action only, left target. I know that wasn't my best shooter. Certainly not my best group, and I definitely pulled on that first shot. I felt it. It's an interesting little group there, though. A diamond. They're all in the six ring and middle there. That target's looking pretty clean. I need to hit it with the governor a couple times, at least. 45 Colt and the governor. Also double action. And those are cowboy loads by the way. Well, I did have an extra, a sixth shot in the governor, and I actually shot it a little bit better than the long gun. But let's compare Rossi with Smith and Wesson. Circuit judge, Rossi, five shots. Smith and Wesson, governor, six shots. Both double action. I'm sure they could vary any time, though. done grouping stuff out of the guns let's blow some stuff up circuit judge with the federal 410 handgun load in it versus a water jug at seven yards <laughs> that was interesting Shot out of the 18 and a half inch circuit judge. Went through the bomb, just kind of ripped it out here. Let's try it out of the governor. Smith governor, same deal. Federal's handgun buckshot. 
seven yards at that water jug. A little bit different. I don't know what it was different on that. I don't know why that was so different. This is the circuit judge jug with the same load, and that's the governor with the same load. I don't know. That's cool though. How about some hollow point performance on the jugs out of each different length barrel? Winchester silver tip 225 grain. Silver tip in the circuit judge. Seven yards at that water jug. Silver tip. Very nice. Circuit judge, 18 and a half inch barrel with the silver tip hollow point 45 Colt. Same deal, silver tip again. Governor. Big splash again, but it didn't jump like the other one, I don't think. Either way though, they both split open. That's the circuit judge. That's the governor. This one does still have its cap though, but this isn't scientific, so who cares. It's not really meaningful to this test or anything, but since I got them out here, Here's a three inch shell Winchester with 11 16 ounce of shot in it. We'll see if it performs a little better than the other one, just for fun. I can't do the comparison with the governor, but we got this just for the hell of it. Fire in the hole. And not a lot of difference once again. I need to get my chokes out one of these days and pattern them. I've never actually used them in that gun. Looks like it really needs it though. Cause that is ridiculous. 12 gauge would be like that at that range I feel like. Again, something not real meaningful to the comparison between two and a half inch shells out of a circuit judge or governor or the 45 Colt out of the circuit judge and the governor. But I did a three inch shell out of the circuit judge, which it can't do in the governor. So I'll put something in the governor that it can shoot that the circuit judge can't. 230 grain federal, 45 ACP in a moon clip. Double action. Let's go see. Well, I thought that maybe the longer cylinder would have affected the short 45 ACP, but that's pretty, that's a pretty good group there, I guess. Shaking up two liters are fun with a 410. I know that from the last video, so I, I don't have a reason to shoot these. I just want to shoot them. This one's going to be shot with a game load. One on the left.
That's fun. Same thing, but with the governor in play. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. What's this, a survivor? Now for just a little plinking to close this out. Some game loads, the last of them. This takes out multiples at a time. Fun times. Got us a little pile of 410 shells down there towards the end of this video. So closing up the video, at the end of the day, without a choke in this thing, and this being a short barrel, they weren't all that different from each other. I was kind of surprised. I thought this would pattern a little tighter regardless because of the longer barrel. Not the case. Could have been the ammo I was using. They both have their different uses, and both are a lot of fun. At the end of the day, I'm a 12 gauge man though. That doesn't stop me from enjoying my 410s once in a while. If you're a 410 fan and love your 410 gun for hunting, small game, or defense at close range, I hope I went over enough of that in the video and that the video was enjoyable. This is Exterminator87 with the 410s signing off. Catch us next time. More videos coming at you. Have a good day.